Welcome to my life again. Good evening. Because it is evening. I look weird. If I look a ghost, I don't care because it makes my skin look a lot better than it really is. I like dogs, in case you hadn't noticed. Actually, that's a silly thing to say because if you've never seen any of my other videos, which is very likely, you won't have a clue. Let me show you. Come here, dogs. One dog. Two doggies. Two. Oh. Three dogs. Three doggies. Come on. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Do it. Oh, you can do it. Oh, you can do it. <laughs> four dogs. I have four. Well, you probably don't know about me because, let's face it, you don't even have a clue about anything about me apart from this random video you may or probably won't be watching. I worked with dogs for eight years. Oh! Get your bum out my face. As well as working with dogs for eight years, owning four of my own, I actually have a degree in canine behavior. None of which has got anything to do with this video, by the way. Dogs are my thing, okay? People have things. Mine are dogs. I'm the dog person. The one who everybody comes to and goes, my dog's scratching its butt, do you know what that means? My dog is itching its ear, do you know what that means? I don't know why I'm speaking in this accent, by the way. And I'm like, uh -huh, I'm probably not, you're okay, don't worry. Or, I don't know, go to the vet, like, sounds bad. That's me. I'm your guy, girl. Already, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Trigger warning, just for fun, just for fun. I wanna go through my top five favorite dogs at the moment. I say at the moment because realistically I don't have five favorite dogs. I tend to like want to keep every dog. As long as it is a dog and it wags its tail. Actually, I don't even care if it doesn't wag its tail. If it's a dog, I'll have it. It doesn't matter to me anymore what kind of dog it is, where it's from, what it's doing, what it likes. If it eats poo, I'm up for it. Yes, please, sign me up. The more you're around dogs, the more you're just like, hmm, I didn't think I'd have one of you, but I'll have one of you. This is just gonna be breeds, but I'm not against crossbreeds. I love a crossbreed. Everyone loves a crossbreed. I'm just doing breeds, okay? Just because I feel like it, because it's fun. That said, all dogs are equal. Any dog is just as good as any other dog. If you're easily offended, maybe just walk out the room, take a deep breath, have a cup of tea, and just let it go. Now we've got that out of the way, let's have some fun! I don't even know if I'm actually gonna be able to name five dogs that are my favorite right now, but I will tell you kind of, there's so many breeds, so many breeds, so many, so many. I have worked with quite a lot of different breeds over the years, not all of them, because there's so many. I will start and I'll kick off with my number one favorite breed at the moment. Probably favorite breed, in general. And I still feel bad saying which is my favorite breeds because I own three different breeds. But my favorite breed, if I had to choose one, has got to be the Poodle. That's right, the Poodle. This, ladies and gentlemen, in case you've never seen one before, is a Poodle. She's a Poodle. She's a Poodle. She's a fluffy, 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 fluffy Poodle. A toy poodle to be exact. She's blind, um, if you've never seen me before or met my videos before. So she was given away for free and I was lucky enough to get the chance to take her home. I love having a poodle. Love, love, love having a poodle. Do you know why I'm being really annoying and loud? I am being a bit annoying. Reasons why poodles are my favorite breed. They are the most clever dog you will ever meet. They are so clever. They're probably not the most clever dog you'll ever meet, but they are very, very, very clever. She's blind and she still manages to play with a ball. She drops a ball, she finds a ball, she picks the ball up, she drops it, she finds it, she picks it. She's blind and she can still do them things because she's so clever. Basically, they're really clever, okay? They're clever. They are cute as duck. <laughs> They are so freaking cute. You could like mix a poodle with any breed and they would be cute as hell. They're so cute. And you can get them in three sizes. You can get them in toy ones like what I've got. You can get them in a miniature and you can get them in a big. So there's a poodle for everyone. Labrador comes in one size. Poodle comes in three sizes. Three sizes. There's many more reasons why I love poodles. Many, many more. But they're just amazing and beautiful. And you should always own a poodle. Oh, you know when you just like, you burp up the, um, the sick. Number two. 
on my list of favorite dogs. The Italian Greyhound. I say it with that face because I own one. She's still here. This, ladies and gentlemen, people, is an Italian Greyhound. Yes, you were. She eats poo. <laughs> yes, I'm choosing breeds that I own, but what did you expect? I own them. I love Italian Greyhounds. I love them. Look at them. What the hell's not to love about them? Is this not like one of the most beautiful dogs you've ever seen in your life? Like, she looks like Dobby the Elf. She's so weird looking. And she's so tiny. And she's just so like crazy weird looking, but beautiful and model-esque at the same time. I saw her and was like, I don't care how, but I'm gonna sell my soul for that dog. Stop licking me with your stink breath. She got the stank breath, the stanky breath. Would, was dreaming of them every night. I was dreaming of them every day. And that's how it starts, people. You start dreaming of them day, night, every day. They're all you can think about. And then eventually, you just have to bring one of the buggers home. There's a lot to say about Italian Greyhounds, but number one reason why I wanted an Italian Greyhound is because I love Greyhounds in general because they're just so elegant and beautiful and wonderful. They look like models and they're just like, I don't know, I just like the house. Then I saw the Italian girl, I was like, oh my god, you can get a mini one! Give me that in a small! Yes, please! They're so freaking cute, they're so loving, they warm you in. I'm eating. They are amazingly cuddly, amazingly loving. They're a, the best hot water bowl you'll ever get. You don't need a hot water bowl. You put them in your bed and they keep you warm. They're like a radiator. They're always up for a walk. Like, they're just amazing. They sleep a lot. If you want to sleep, they'll sleep with you. It's just, they're a great, they're a great dog to have. To number three. What is she gonna say? I bet she's gonna say a chihuahua, you're thinking. Because I have one. No, actually, they're not my third favorite dog. I'm telling you right now, chihuahuas are not on my list. And I have two, but I love chihuahuas. It doesn't mean that I don't freaking love them. Mine are better than any other chihuahua out there. Sorry about that. Apart from marbles. You don't know who marbles is, well. <laughs> Number three, Pomeranians. Pomeranians, what the hell can I say about Pomeranians? They are basically a tiny little teddy bear, a real tiny teddy bear that you've like, like that breathes and eats and drinks and everything. I can't cope with that fluffiness. The most fluff you'll ever see on a fluffy fluff. So I love them. I love the fluffiness. They're so fluffy. <laughs> I have to admit the main reason that I'd probably like them is because they're freaking cute. My sister has a cross pom. So she's got like a pom cross with a poodle cross with a chihuahua, I think. She's so cute and loving and sprightly and I think they're super intelligent yet again. Bouncy, they're really loving and they're just freaking amazing. If somebody like gave me a little like fluffy Pomeranian like a surprise, I would just like marry that person on the spot. One of the fluffy buggers, I would just die. <sighs> Let's compose ourselves. Number four, I'm gonna throw you a curveball now because I bet you thought they're all gonna be small, didn't ya, didn't ya, didn't ya? I would love, 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 love a Afghan hound. They are like the supermodel of the dog world. They're all hair, they're all like, hmm, I'm an Afghan hound and I'm sexy. They're beautiful and they often use them in like films like because they're so beautiful. They're very goofy which like that's okay with me. I love me a bit of goofy. I prefer small dogs for many reasons. You can take them everywhere with you and it's so much easier. You can pick them up when they get too old to walk because they're like really old men and women. You can carry them around and you can put them on velvet cushions. I I'd have a hard time carrying an Afghan hound around. I think they are such beautiful dogs. Really love like a hound, like shaped face. Look at that sexy, like shaped head. It's just like, mm, I just want to eat your head. The head just like ducks me up, man. They're really goofy and they're just like, all over the place. <laughs> Number five, the Bedlington Terrier. They are like sheep. 
Their hair grows all fluffy like. The traditional way to trim them, because I would know because I'm a grown <laughs> snob. They get trimmed like in the shape of a sheep. So they're basically like little sheepies walking down the street. They got little tassels on their end. They got like a beautiful shaped nose again. I think I'm just attracted to the like houndy like nose. I have met quite a few Bedlington Terriers and they are the sweetest, lovely natured little dogs. They're so like gentle nature. They're very gentle souls. Obviously they could still be turned into monsters if they were brought up in the wrong way, okay? Just the sweetest and basically like who does not want a dog that like is looks like a sheep. Sheep are amazing and if I can have me a dog that looks like a sheep like I'll have both, you know? I got a dog sheepy dog doggy sheep. They're quite a nice little size so you could probably pick them up when they get too old, you know? Unlike an Afghan, you could probably carry them around when they're too old to walk. So I love them! This is a different video. If you don't like it, then I don't want to know. <laughs> don't tell me. Comment down below what your favourite dog breed is. If you love dogs, comment down below so I know there's someone out there. Subscribe! Chihuahuas are still amazing. Bye!